Hello 127th Wing, I'm General Mommen, the Wing Commander, and welcome to the September Drill. Before we start out, I wanted to uh, recognize Sergeant Garza for all the hard work that she did uh, leading up to and through Exercise Spartan. Now during the exercise, I coined over 30 people during the exercise, which was a lot of fun to do. Uh, and I still have more people to coin, and I will be hitting, uh, hitting up those organizations over the next uh, several drills to say thanks for all the hard work. In this case, Sergeant Garza did a fantastic job getting the 127th Wing headquarters ready to deploy out, uh, out the door, all the mobility folders, all the hard work that had to go along with that. And then when she was in uh, place, uh, she took over the uh, Persco superintendent roles and did a fantastic job making sure that we were 100% accountable for all our men and women that were up at uh, Exercise Spartan. So with that, I want to thank you for all the work that you did. Appreciate everything you're doing. Sure. You bet. Thank you. So a few more words about Exercise Spartan. Exercise Spartan was an amazing success. We took over 800 members of the uh, 127th Wing up to Alpena, uh, exercised for a week, and brought them back all safely to Selfridge Air National Guard Base. We also brought up 14 uh, A-10s and four uh, KC-135s and about uh, 20 semi-truck loads of cargo to support the exercise. Initial feedback from both the Air Combat Command and Air Mobility Command Inspector Generals was extremely positive. We did five agile combat employment uh, events with the highlight being the highway landing where we landed on M32 with four A-10s and two C-146 aircraft from uh, Special Ops uh, Command. We've done it in Europe and we've done it in, in other locations but never in the United States. From an overall perspective, the Exercise Spartan, again, was a great success, and it's proof that we have a culture of readiness in the 127th Wing. Now I'd like to thank everybody who participated in the uh, climate survey. The climate survey is closed, and in total, we had about 763 people take the survey. Overall, the report was over 200 pages long, with 122 pages of comments. And I'm looking forward to come out over the next several months to different commander's calls to talk directly to you about the results uh, in the survey. Again, I want to thank everybody for taking the survey. And now for a quick COVID update. We are still in Health Protection Condition Bravo, and we have several restrictions on the base uh, while people are working. For example, inside, everyone, regardless of vaccination status, must be wearing a mask. Outside, everyone who has not been vaccinated must wear a mask. So please uh, comply with those restrictions. Also, you've been watching that the uh, COVID vaccine is now mandatory. The Pfizer vaccine initially has received full licensure from the FDA. So with that, the Department of Defense has mandated that all members get vaccinated. Guidance for the vaccine will be coming through official channels shortly. At this point, I'd like to hand it over to Chief Wynott, and he's going to talk to you about a few subjects. Thank you, General Mammon. Hi, I'm Chief Math Sergeant uh, David Wynott. What I wanted to talk to you about today is the Air Force Integrated Personnel and Pay System, or AFIPS. This is a new system for your military records and your pay records. This is a two-phase process. What's open right now is the first phase to claim your account. And the second phase will go live in the early summer of 2022. This is especially important for our deployers as you'll be gone when this goes live. Because this is actually a two-step process. First, you need to claim your account. Then you need to go in and look at each tabs. There's five tabs. Verify that data. Once that data is verified and gone through by you, then it'll show you as complete. Now this first step is very, very important to make sure that step two goes smooth. Remember, your pay accuracy depends on the information in this new system. And don't forget that this Saturday, 11 September, is the Wing Family Appreciation Day. So don't forget to bring your family for food and fun provided by the Wing for appreciation of you and your family's hard work and dedication to the mission. To kick it all off, the first sergeants are having a ruck walk run that begins at 8.30 in the morning outside of the headquarters building at the empty field and it will end off at the top three area location of Family Day. If you're interested in participating in that, contact your first sergeant. Lastly, I want to thank you for all you do every day. Your success is the Force Support Squadron success. I hope you and your family take the time to enjoy the Family Day events. Thank you very much, General. Back to you. Now I'd like to uh, talk uh, briefly about what's going to happen over the next 12 to 14 months in the 127th Wing. It's going to be a busy time. We're deploying hundreds of people throughout the globe. 
We're going to have two home station uh, exercises here at, the, at Selfridge. We're going to have an air show in July and in September we're going to have a capstone with the Air Combat Command and Air Mobility Command Inspector Generals overseeing our entire program. So it is going to be a very, very busy year. Finally, I'd like to say to everybody, happy birthday. This month is the 74th anniversary of the United States Air Force. It is our goal to be the best led, most efficient, effective, and adaptable organization in the United States Air Force. I appreciate your leadership and I appreciate your professionalism.